Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Danielle and today I have a huge thrift store haul for you. If you guys are interested in seeing all the things that I found for a steal, then stay tuned. Hey friends, welcome back. So like I said, I do have a thrift store haul for you. Um, my oldest daughter has been kind of, you know, talking to me about going thrifting. I guess it's super hip right now and I'm all about saving a dollar and I love thrift stores, but I really haven't had a reason to try to go out and spend any money even if it was at a thrift store. But um, we hit up two different thrift stores in like the western suburbs of Chicago and they're pretty like affluent areas and girl, let me tell you. They were like department stores. I was like, this is fancy. But anyways, I did so good, and I'm about to show you what I got. So they are things for my kids for school, for myself, for my house, name it. But your girl did good. Let me show you what I got. So the first, I'm just gonna start off with this little baggie here. And these are for the two little ones. They found these books. This, I mean, you find book, it's all, it's all good. So Power Rangers book and an atlas a natural not atlas yeah i don't know so yeah we got these for the two kids i know sophia wanted them and becky <clears throat> continuing on with sophia and becky i found this like basically brand new you guys can see tommy hilfiger shirt and it's like a three-quarter length sleeve it's really nice it's nice and long and i found this for sophia for four bucks and it's like basically brand new so she liked that I got that for her just to like wear to school Becky is going to school this year so she, we picked her up some things just to you know go to school a couple days a week and this was for two $2.99 and it's just this really pink pretty shirt and it has like their crochet on it so I didn't think that was too bad just for her to go to school in because you know kids be kids <laughs> Leo found if you guys watch any of my cooking videos a lot of people ask about the wooden handle knife and where we get it Leo found it at a thrift store and or Goodwill and he just bought a sharpening like rock or something and he just sharpens it himself it is my favorite knife so when we were there he found like a little like steak knifey one that matches so just for like cutting up like small vegetables and stuff and this one was 50 cents here is some home decor. You guys know I love me some home decor. And I found these. They were $1.99 each. And they are just like these iron pumpkins. And they have a flat. And you can put little candlesticks in them. I think I might. I'm thinking I'm going to spray paint them. I don't know what color yet. Maybe white. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with them just yet, but I'm going to spray paint them or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll clean them up and put like a, a brown candle in them. Maybe I'll spray paint them white and do a brown candle. I think that'll look really cute. But they were really nice, and I think I can put them on my entryway table for fall. I like decorating with pumpkins because I can keep that up until after Thanksgiving. Here's another home decor piece I found. It is just one of these um, like cake domes. So it has the wood piece and the glass top. I figure I can put this on my table or make it like a little centerpiece. I don't know. I feel like I can use this somewhere. And it was $1.99. So I'm really digging it. And it has like the wood on the bottom. And I really like having this really pretty wood. So got that. Sophia and Becky found this for their grandparents. It's like just as grandkids and it has like the things for the pictures on it, you know. And uh, my mother-in-law likes to collect pictures of the kids, so Sophia wanted to get it for her. Some of the wood is chipped up in the back, but she doesn't care. She'll just be happy that the kids thought of her. So got that for the old mother-in-law, and this was two bucks. And then I did get a big piece of stuff from this particular thrift store, but it is in the living room, so at the end I'll bring the camera out there and I will show you what I got. All right, so next thrift store I went to, I hit big with these wicker baskets. So this is the first one I got. Isn't this beautiful? Look at how big and deep it is. I absolutely love it. I'm thinking for like the centerpiece on my table. This was $2.99. Look at, I mean, legit, you can put it like on your head. It is so big. Like, it's huge. And $2.99, I mean, if you were to get this at like a Hobby Lobby, it would be like a million dollars. So, and then I found this one. This is a little tinier one, and it's woven, and I thought it was really pretty. Um, maybe for my entry table in between those two pumpkins. This was a dollar, 
and maybe put my keys and stuff in it. I am going to have an updated fall um, tour for my house. I'm changing up my fall decor and I've also made some changes in my living room so I'm going to bring you guys in and show you guys what I did. So I got those two. Alright, this next one is for me. So I've been on the hunt for some kind of brown like wooden wedges really earthy tones just so I can wear with some particular outfits I had in mind but I just hate spending so much money on shoes when I don't wear them all that much especially during the week I'm really just either in gym shoes or sl uh, like slides and if I do get it up and get dressed it's maybe once or twice a week so I don't that's just not the investment isn't there for me so I was there I walked into this thrift store and these caught my eye and I was like oh my god those are so cute that's exactly the color I want that's the type of style of shoe I want they are from the guest brand and they look so great I mean I just love them I'm gonna clean them up a little bit because you know people probably tried them on they are an eight and a half they are like perfect size for me and they are open toe I mean so cute yeah five dollars I was like okay you're mine and um yeah so I'm really stoked about these I have an out I have a couple outfit ideas I'll go ahead and post them if you guys don't follow me on Instagram go ahead and follow me I do do a lot of like outfit updates and stuff but yeah these are the ones I got aren't they beautiful I mean would you guys have passed up on these or not I mean I just think they're so cute and I think wedges are extremely comfortable I cannot wear any like thin heeled shoe I can't walk in them I walk like a drunken baby giraffe and I just it's not cute so I have to stick to wedges or like the thick plump heels the next few things are going to be for my kids like I did say my daughter was really interested in thrifting out some clothes so I took her and we did through the um the, the racks and we found some really good stuff so um here is for Sophia Sophia is really into like justice and she's a huge Jojo Siwa fan and she's really into that right now so I found this Justice hoodie and it looks just like this. It says happy and it has like the gray marble sleeves. It does have the hood on it and it looks really, really good. I mean, there's no holes. You can barely even look used and it's that real soft material. This was $4.99. I mean, you cannot beat that. I mean, so cute for her. She was like so happy for it. So I went ahead and I got that for Sophie. And then I found these Under Armour t-shirts for Sophia. And these are really nice. They're super comfortable. These were like brand new. So I got this gray one with the purple X, $4. They were $3.99. And then I found this baby blue one with the white X just for her to wear to school and stuff like that. Because sometimes we it stays hot sometimes until like mid-October here. So this was also $3.99. So I got those for myself. All right. Here goes for Rhea. Rhea found herself a pair of jeans. These are from the Ann Taylor Loft. She actually has had these a couple times and she loves them. They're just some plain old skinny jeans. And um, they look pretty good. So these are what they look like. They're like that light wash. $6.99. I was like, okay, you can get them. Can't beat that. And then she found herself another pair of jeans. These are from the Kenzie jeans. These are the curvy skinny ones and these were on they're like distressed so you guys can kind of see some of the pockets and stuff so they're like still hip and these were six six ninety nine but all the blue tags were fifty percent off so they were three fifty but they're really nice and they go up pretty high on her and they have like the distressing in the knees and stuff so I mean if they would have had these in my size I would have got them but they didn't they didn't have nothing in mama's size all right, here's another shirt Rhea found. This was for three dollars. It's a plain black, plain black T-shirt, so she can wear that. There I am. And then Rhea found uh, this is another shirt. This is for three dollars. Just a plain X shirt type deal, gray. She can just wear them to school and be comfy. Then she found this shirt and she was like super stoked. This is a, this is for $3.99 and it's an Under Armour shirt and it says Harvard on it. My girl wants to go to Ivy League so she was really happy for that. And I feel like this would be really cute with some black leggings and just some gym shoes. So she got that. 
she found this shirt. It says introvert on it. It's from Pacific Sun, believe it or not, from PacSun. And then it's just tie-dyed. This was $3.99. And then she found, I, this army green is like my favorite color. This one was for $3.99. I don't know who it's by. But it's just a, like, long hem so it covers up the butt. Nice and light, too, and it'll be great for transitioning into fall. So Rhea got that. And then I found this cute little shirt for Rebecca. This was in a size small. This was for $3.99. And it's just this Nike t-shirt. I figure she can wear it to school, too, you know? Because like I said, it still gets pretty hot here. So here is my other find. I found this table for, if you guys can see, let's see if it'll focus. $3.99. So it is a wood table. I had to get down to the floor. I needed something to replace that table right there. And I've been looking, so it does have this pretty wooden detail on it. It does have some like scuff marks and stuff but we ain't gonna worry about that. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sand out, let me see if I'm into it here. Okay, so this is like the overall picture. My plan is I'm going to go ahead, we have a sander in the garage, I'm gonna sand the top layer. I'm pretty much gonna sand everything, but I'm going to stain this like a dark wood. So almost to match like the TV stand. And then what I'm gonna do with the legs is I'm going to paint them white and I'm gonna get really into the detailing and I don't know if I'm going to distress it or not. I will kind of see how I go there. But what do you guys think? Do you think that'll look great or what? I'm really thinking that the white and the, the dark top and the white on the bottom would look really sharp. And I think it'll go really, really nicely in here. So yeah, and I can't believe $4. I mean, it's, it's solid wood. I cannot, even when Leo seen it, I was like, I, I need this. And he's like, all right, let's go buy it. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Let me know what you guys think of the stuff I got. I feel like I scored so good. So between both of the thrift stores for everything, and I did round my total up because um, I gave like to the cause or whatever it's called. Um, so for everything, I spent $60 for all those clothes, for all the stuff like the furniture, the decor, shoes, everything was $60. I could not believe it like the kid like Rhea especially served her jeans and all those shirts for those Under Armour shirts for that really nice hoodie I mean they I feel like I did so great I want to touch on the fact that some people may look down at or have an opinion on resale shops and stuff like that for your kids not your kids so if you know you make your kids look presentable within your budget kids are rough on clothes and uh, you can find some good stuff like I ain't girl I'm all about saving the penny okay I need my coins so um you know go look around it never hurts to look around I mean I found great furniture I found great articles of clothing brand news you never know another man's one man's junk is another man's treasure so I highly encourage you just to take a peek in there and see what they got you never know what you're gonna find but all right guys thank you so much if you do like these kinds of videos please give this one a thumbs up and make sure to stick around and hit that follow or subscribe button because I would love to have you guys hang out with me. I put up all kinds of videos a few times a week and it's a good time. We're family here and we have a good time and we all love and support each other. So I will see you guys on the next video.